A to Z. Atticus were amphibious, which means that they lived on both land and water. As amphibians, they were able to breathe underwater, kind of like fish. Like turtles, Atticus carried their homes, their shells, around with them all the time. Turtle shells are made up entirely of bone and are usually hard in order to protect them from predators. Atticus most likely ate plants, but may have also fed on small animals. Like modern turtles, Atticus were turtles that could pull their heads into their shells. Alamosaurus was a huge, long-necked dinosaur. It was one of the last sauropods that lived in the Mesozoic era. Alamosaurus was one of the last sauropod dinosaurs to live in the Mesozoic era. Alamosaurus was a plant-eating sauropod dinosaur that lived in North America during the Cretaceous time period. Alamosaurus was huge, weighing 30 tons and measuring about 50 feet in length. Like other sauropods, it had a very long neck and a long tail. Allosaurus had a small horn over each eye. The horns may have helped Allosaurus to recognize others of its kind. Allosaurus is the state fossil of Utah. The Cleveland Lloyd Dinosaur Quarry in central eastern Utah preserves remains of dozens of allosaurs. Allosaurus was one of the dominant carnivores in North America that lived in the Jurassic many millions of years before Tyrannosaurus rex. Allosaurus juveniles had longer legs than adults, making them fast runners. Scientists think that young Allosaurus needed to run fast in order to keep up with the adults, which took larger steps. Amargosaurus was a giant sauropod with two rows of spines down its back. The spines may have been attached to one another by skin, creating the appearance of a huge sail on its back. While Amargosaurus looked like other sauropods with its long neck and small head, it was very unique. It had two rows of tall spines down its neck and back. Amargosaurus was a sauropod. Sauropods were four-legged herbivores known for their small heads, big long bodies, and large appetites. Scientists believe the spines on an Amargosaurus could have helped defend against predators, communicate with other Amargosaurus, or control body temperature. Ankylosaurus was covered from head to toe with bony armor. The bony club at the end of its tail was used in defending against predators. The body of the Ankylosaurus was covered in bony knobs and plates called osteoderms that functioned like armor for protection against predators. Ankylosaurus was a large and heavy quadruped, which means it walked on four legs. It was also a herbivore, which means it only ate the green stuff, plants. Ankylosaurus was a large armored dinosaur measuring up to 30 feet long. Scientists believe it could have weighed up to 13,000 pounds. That's about the weight of an armored tank. Apatosaurus was a giant dinosaur that had to eat huge amounts of food every day to support its size. Apatosaurus was a sauropod dinosaur that lived in the Jurassic time period. 
Apatosaurus had chisel-like teeth located in the front of its jaws, which it used to grab plant food. A lot of plant food. Apatosaurus was a huge plant eater that grew up to 75 feet long and weighed as much as four elephants. Archaeopteryx, sometimes called first bird, was a small meat-eating dinosaur that lived in the late Jurassic time period. Archaeopteryx had long feathers on its legs and arms. It may have used its feathered arms to help run up steep hills. Archaeopteryx was probably a poor flyer and might have hunted on the ground. Archaeopteryx was about the size of a modern-day crow and likely fed on a diet of small animals, including fish and insects. Birds and dinosaurs, particularly small theropod dinosaurs like Archaeopteryx, are closely related. Some similar features are walking on two legs, a long bony tail, feathers, and lightweight bones. Like other sea turtles, Archelon had to come out of the water to make a nest on the beach and lay its eggs. It would then return to the ocean, leaving the young turtles to fend for themselves. Archelon was a giant sea turtle that lived during the Cretaceous time period. Like giant sea turtles today, Archelon may have fed on jellyfish. Growing up to 13 feet long and 16 feet wide, Archelon is the biggest turtle we know of. Argentinosaurus was bigger than 10 Tyrannosaurs put together. Being a big dinosaur meant that you had to constantly eat. Argentinosaurus could probably eat as much food as would fill a pickup truck. That's a lot of vegetables. Argentinosaurus is the largest plant-eating dinosaur ever discovered from the late Cretaceous time period. It was found in Argentina, South America. This dinosaur reached 130 feet long and weighed up to 100 tons. A single vertebrae of Argentinosaurus was the size of a refrigerator. Avasaurus are known to be from the Rocky Mountains and the humid low-lying swamps, lakes, and river basins of the Western Interior Seaway. Avasaurus lived in the Cretaceous time period in what is now North America. This flying dinosaur was probably a carnivore, eating small animals like lizards and mammals. Avasaurus were birds with three-toed feet that were part of the group of mammals called theropods. Brachiosaurus had longer front limbs than hind limbs. Many paleontologists think that it held its neck straight up like a modern giraffe to reach leaves high in the trees. Brachiosaurus fossils were found in both North America and Africa. This enormous sauropod was very slow moving, slower than any carnivore of its time. Brachiosaurus, like other plant-eating animals, had broad teeth that would have been great for stripping vegetation off trees. Brachiosaurus had a rounded crest made of thin bone attached to its snout. Scientists believe the crest was likely used to show off. Castrocauda means beaver tail because it had a flattened tail like a beaver and likely used it for swimming, just as modern-day beavers do. 
Although Castracauta was relatively small at less than two pounds, it is the largest known mammal or mammal-like creature from the Jurassic. Castracauta appears to have been a fish eater. Castracauta had enlarged front limbs with indications of strong muscles. This suggested that these limbs were used for digging. Chirostenotes means narrow hand because it had three long clawed fingers on each hand. Chirostenotes had a beak, a lot like a big bird without teeth. They also had long arms with powerful claws that probably helped them catch prey and pick plants for food. Chirostenotes was an omnivore, which means they ate both meat and plants, just like many humans. They ate plants, eggs, small animals, and insects. Chirostenotes was a bipedal dinosaur that lived in the late Cretaceous time period. According to the few fossils found, scientists believe Chirostenotes was about 9 to 10 feet tall. Simolestes was an early mammal that lived in the woodlands of North America and Africa during the Cretaceous time period. During the age of dinosaurs, mammals were small and often lived in trees. It wasn't until the dinosaurs died out that mammals started to evolve into larger species. The name Simolestes means bug thief as they likely fed on bugs and insects. Simolestes are known from their fossilized teeth, as their delicate bones did not survive weather and time. Simolestes was probably about eight inches long and weighed about half a pound. Confuciusornis was a crow-sized bird with a toothless beak and a very long tail of feathers. Confuciusornis lived in the early Cretaceous time period, about 124 million years ago. Fossils have been found in China, hence the name Confuciusornis, after the Chinese philosopher Confucius. Scientists think that Confuciusornis was most likely an omnivore. Confuciusornis were birds about the size of a modern-day crow. They were also one of the first known birds ever to have a beak. Corythosaurus had a crest on its head that may have been used to communicate with other Corythosaurus. Corythosaurus walked primarily on two legs but scientists think they may have used all four legs when eating low plants on the ground. Corythosaurus was a herbivore, and like other hadrosaurs or duck-billed dinosaurs, it had a beak with hundreds of small, flat teeth in the back, perfect for grinding up plants. Corythosaurus was a duck-billed dinosaur that lived in North America during the late Cretaceous time period. Corythosaurus means helmet lizard and was named after the shape of its crest. Cretoxyrhina, also known as Ginzu shark, was a shark that lived in the western interior sea during the late Cretaceous time period. Its teeth grew up to two inches long. The age of dinosaurs included some truly giant animals, most of which are gone today. The great white shark is a descendant of Cretoxyrhina and can give clues to what it may have looked like. Cretoxyrhina ate large bony fish and occasionally fed on giant reptiles like mosasaurs and plesiosaurs. Its teeth have been found embedded in the bones of other animals.
Like modern sharks, the skeleton of Cretoxyrhina was not made of bone, but of cartilage. Cartilage does not normally fossilize. However, some complete specimens of Cretoxyrhina have been found. Cryolophosaurus was discovered on the southern continent of Antarctica. Today, Antarctica is extremely cold and icy. But during the age of the dinosaur, Antarctica was much warmer with lush green forest. Cryolophosaurus was a relatively large dinosaur that grew up to 25 feet long. It probably walked on its hind legs, had small forearms, and might have resembled Allosaurus. Cryolophosaurus was a large meat-eating dinosaur that lived during the Jurassic time period. During the Jurassic, Antarctica was closer to the equator and was part of a large continent called Pangaea. Cryolophosaurus had an odd bony crest on its head that looked like a funny hairdo. Scientists nicknamed this dinosaur Elvisaurus because his furrowed crest resembled the hairdo of Elvis Presley. Despletosaurus lived in North America during the late Cretaceous period. It is closely related to its much larger cousin, Tyrannosaurus. Recent research shows that Despletosaurus and other Tyrannosaurs grew quite slowly when small, then went through a major growth spurt in their teen years. Despletosaurus was a meat-eating Tyrannosaur. Like T-Rex, it too was the top predator of its time, though it lived long before Tyrannosaurus Rex. Despletosaurus means frightful lizard. This huge carnivore grew to a length of 26 to 30 feet. With its massive skull and rows of sharp teeth, this would have been a dinosaur to be frightened of. Deinonychus was a feathered dinosaur that was about 11 feet long. Deinonychus is from the Greek words terrible and claw. Deinonychus was named this due to the large toe claws they had on each hind foot, which they used for hunting. Deinonychus were carnivorous predators. Their skulls had powerful jaws lined with almost 60 sharp blade-like teeth. These teeth and their big toe claws were useful for hunting and eating prey. Fossils of Deinonychus have been found throughout North America. Scientists have discovered that Deinonychus lived during the early Cretaceous time period.